How's it going everybody? Grizzly Sculpt 950 going over some new 4chan leaks which posted yesterday by the other leaker. So as always, if you guys have enjoyed these type of content, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my Twitter down below in the description. As always, your support is greatly appreciated. With that said, let's get right into this. I'm gonna go down this entire list, giving my thoughts as we go along. So yeah, they're just saying, yeah, how's it going everybody? You know. This is some very credible leaks. Everyone else is fake. I feel like a lot of people say that, so it's just like it's like some sort of like some sort of like struggle right there. But anyways, yeah, these games we already know. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Nintendo wants to give Pikachu and Eevee, you know, the spotlight. It makes sense because we have everything like in regards to the movies, uh, part Project Eevee, and yeah, they just been getting a lot of attention, so. That's one of the major things that makes Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee credible is just the amount of tweets that we've been seeing, like all those merch leaks, you know, we've seen videos of mascots walking across the screen, Eevee and Pikachu walking behind it, I don't know which Twitter, but I saw that video, it was like, yeah, and also Janucci Masuda, you know, just chilling, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of Eevee and Pikachu uh, plush toys, so... Uh, these games will take place in Kanto and question mark question mark question mark so I th I believe that they're hinting at a new region if they're not really I mean they if I would assume Johto but they would just say it's Johto I think they talk about Johto later down this post somewhere I'm not sure about 100 years in the future rumor but red and blue do appear in the games and they're significantly older so it's somewhat of a future version of Kanto just not drastically like 100 years into the future, <laughs> I really thought that's nonsensical, like what? Uh, so yeah, this is Generation 8, Nintendo are taking the new forward with Pokemon on the Switch. So, Council region being Generation 8, not too keen on that, especially if they want to just change it drastically, they might as well just, it's not even Council anymore now, is it? Because I feel like a lot of people will be upset that Council has just been dramatically changed, they feel like they might as well just call this its own new region, it's not really Council. If it's you know it's that much change, but they have to do something to just make it somewhat appealing, especially to non-Gen oneers that are not too keen on these t these rumors to begin with. I know I'm not, but we'll just have to keep an open mind. Uh, we have a huge island formed in the middle of the region. The island's bigger than any of Alola's, so big that it's considered its own region. So like one giant island with a couple of sub islands surrounding it so I assume like this island's gonna have like the league or something like everywhere else I assume if this were to be true some Italian league rumors were true Canto is the smaller islands that surround the bigger region which is the main metropolis so that's what I was saying like is it really all just Canto might as well just call it its own new thing but there's just just main like centerpiece in the center of the map and Canto is like everywhere around it and okay I get it Pokemon's taking an entirely different route with these games as with Pokemon Go integration. Surprising everyone with a brand new formula they have brought forward with the Switch. There will be new Pokemon, a lot of them with evolutions and pre evils. Well, yeah, of course, that has to be the case, but I think by pre evils, is he talking about, like, I think he has to be talking about uh, baby Pokemon like Elekid, Magby, and all that. I think, I mean, it's been a while since they introduced some baby Pokemon, so I wouldn't mind it, I should say. No word on Garochu, but Eevee is getting a new evolution, which will be in a new movie. I never really talked about Garochu. No, it's Pikachu, like, third evolution. Is it a split evolution? I don't know. A third evolution? Something like that. But, yeah, if that were to happen, of course, Eevee would have to get a new evolution. But I don't really see that happening for Eevee because I feel like they've done everything they've already can with promoting the movie. Like, well, the merch, like, Zero Aura was a big reveal, right? So I feel like after that, like, I, th I think we're done with that. But we'll see. Battle mechanics are relatively the same. The rumors of ghost integration in games are overstated. I hope, I hope so. Like, I don't really want to just tap on a button 5,000 times to knock out a Pokemon. I would rather just, you know, stick with the turn-based thing. If they want to do real-time, they're going to have to do it, like... They're going to have to... They can't just, just make it, like, touch, tap, 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 tap. Like, that'll just... You just get worn down pretty quickly when doing that. Catching Pokemon is made to be a bit harder, resulting Pokeballs, etc. being cheaper no more. I don't really think that's going to be an issue. I mean, I feel like Pokemon has been relatively fair in terms of 
you know, catch rates and all that with legendaries, you know, certain Pokemon gets, po but we're going to get like static Pokemon, so really, I don't know, that's, that's cool though, I mean, like, they can, they can definitely do a lot of things when it comes to catching Pokemon, like, I know like in some games, like, Poke, like, um, you know, like the, in Marowak from Pokemon Tower, like, it dodged a Pokemon, I feel like Pokemon should be able to, like, dodge, like, depending on the amount of health they are at, they should be able to, like, just get out of the way and be like, oh, I wasted my Pokemon, I have to weaken this Pokemon, so you can't just, like, throw, like, a quick ball and just catch a Pokemon and be done with it. That will be interesting, though. And transfer Pokemon from Go to these games, that kind of goes without saying. Okay, so here is where they talk about the legendaries. There is one snake legendary, it's part poison. It's part of the major factor of the Kanto disaster, so Kanto is, like, a toxic environment. That sounds a bit similar to that one leak. I think the Nintendo Switch data mine leak, they talked about Pokemon chemical and nuclear. I feel like this is what this is alluding towards. So, like, some sort of, like, nuclear catastrophe has happened in the Kanto region or something. I'm not so sure about these rumors. But, obviously, they're talking about, you know, version-exclusive mascots for each game. Like, every main series game has had this, so... I don't know. I mean, if this if this isn't the case, then I don't know what they're going to do. I feel like Eevee and Pikachu and Eevee are the mascots, right? Because it's called Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So, I mean, if they have their own new legendary Pokemon, I'd be down with it, you know? Uh, Pokemon Follow You again. Game Freak finally understood how important it was to fans to have Pokemon following us again. Well, for me, I can do with or without it, but it would be cool, you know, to interact with, like, all our Pokemon following us. And they have to do something with those walking animations that we've seen. Like, every Pokemon just walking around, you know, that they couldn't really fit it into the Generation 7 game. So, to see them port that onto Nintendo Switch will be amazing. The starters are indeed the original three from Kanto with a gifted Pikachu and Eevee given to you depending on the version, of course. So, you, it's basically two starter Pokemon in a nutshell. You, you know, the original Bulbasaur, Trimander, Squirtle, and then Pikachu and Eevee just to fill out your team a little bit at the start. A lot of ideas in the game came from ideas from fans, Game Freak listening to, to the fan base, what we really want, which is why I feel like they're going to have to do their best to try to, you know, not just appeal to old fans, but to, like, make some of us new fans feel like that this is worthwhile of a game, so which is why the whole 151 thing is, you know, just a bit, like, skeptic move on their behalf, you know? So the evil team in this games are very much different from the rest. They're very passionate and driven for their goals. I don't know the names of their actual goal is. Obviously, it's, oh, hopefully it's not just something like, oh, we're going to hunt down this legendary Pokemon, use his power to like make the world dark or something like that. Not just so one no. Like they have to have like layers. I feel like the closest thing to death they had with that was black and white. With the whole thing with cats is, you know, and being manipulated and just being really used as a pawn for to like inflate Gats's evil ambitions and all that. Their theme is silver, so I guess they're talking about Giovanni's son, Silver, his battle theme. So that hints at potentially, I don't know, is Silver like the leader of the team? Did he grow up to be the team of team, the leader of Team Rocket or something? Is Giovanni like mentoring him? I don't know, that's just a theory. I'm like, I, I find that strange if, if that that's not the case. If they're going to reuse his team, he's not going to have some sort of role in the plot with this new team or evil team. They don't want to, we don't know anything about the name, of course. Rainbow Rocket, who knows? Probably not. Version differences are quite major in this game, going beyond black and white even. So, in black and white, what did we have? I think some of the towns, like Opelousa City, was like different based on the game, like... And I believe in black, up one the Upper Lucid City was more futuristic and advanced, while Pokemon White was, you know, just regular, like, you know, retro and all that. Same with Black 2 and White 2. So, yeah, that would be great. Version differences are quite major in this game, going beyond black and white even. So, I guess some of this, some areas will be different depending on the games. Like, Black and White has, like, Upper Lucid City was different in between the two games as well as black 2 white 2 interesting plus and minus were original ideas for the games really hence where the small islands and bigger metropolis ideas came from i don't remember anything about this plus and minus rumor 
I'm not really too sure about that. There's no such thing as an ultra shiny. Yeah, I think that was I recovered that in a video. It was just some sort of trading card type of thing. Nothing really going on. I don't really think that's like a game mechanic, just like something on the side. So it's a big overhaul to the evil team's goal in this game. The music is next level entirely. Well, on the Switch, yeah, I hope it is. <laughs> I hope it is different. But, yeah, Pokemon music, or, uh, in my opinion, the best music in, to exist in Pokemon is from Mystery Dungeon. Like, nothing, I don't I don't know. If it can top that, then I'm all for it, you know. We'll just have to see. A whole host of other characters make appearance in these games. They are, of course, much older now. The Lapras League, the, you know, the oh, man, this Lapras League is everywhere. The graphics are a step up from that. Nothing like Ultra Sun, so what we were seeing was just like some sort of like beta version potentially. It's not actually gonna look like that. That I mean obviously the quality is pretty bad, so it's not gonna the quality is gonna be so much better. Dynamic camera, I like the idea to, you know, be able to not just look at one like sort of like plane, you know. I like to be able to look up and around and all that, so like some sort of three sixty camera, things like that. That's definitely welcoming. Uh the screenshot was from the handheld switch yeah uh, like the 3ds so it's not anything like it would be on tv i would imagine it would be a lot more you know high resolution and all that so this is the final page right here gems are back four from the Kanto islands and four from the new region i have an idea i discussed in a previous video on what they could do to make gems more exciting send a video on why generation 8 is better than a Kanto reboot slash remake so what do you guys think about dual themed gems focusing on multiple typing such as Dragon Dark or Fairy Steel? An interesting twist that would be to make gems more exciting and challenging. Also the ability for us to create our own gems and challenge other players and vice versa to win amazing prizes rarely found anywhere else It's just something to think about. Johto still exists with a few changes here and there. You can visit there, but there are no gyms anymore. This is because Johto is taking a different route with trainers finding themselves and bonding with their Pokemon. Think trials, but better. A three region game, huh? I don't know. Even two regions is a bit of a reach. The other regions are hinted a lot go to them. That will only result in them putting a minimum amount of effort into them anyways, so I'm cool with that. Everyone who feels like the new games are going to be tragedies and failures just need to be patient. I've been a Pokemon fan all my life and these games are going to be the best. Nintendo have outdone themselves completely with these games and it will amaze the announcement will be. But all I can say is get yourself a Nintendo Switch. Let's hope the hype they're generating with this leaves many of us satisfied. They just need to make these games amazing with enough content to last us for the next you know two three years before the next games diamond and pro remakes are in the works they are follow up to the current games but don't expect them anytime soon 2020 at the earliest and that is pretty much it for this post shouldn't get our hopes up on all these it might just be like a personal wish list posted to stir the pot mixed in with some real info like diamond and pro that being released in 2020 or later that sounds about right. But that's it for now. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have yourselves a good one. Peace out.